Hello, today we shall speak about marketing in the digital age. We shall identify the major forces shaping the new digital age and explain how companies have responded to the internet and other powerful new technologies with e-business strategies and how these strategies have resulted in benefits to both buyers and sellers. We shall describe the four major e-commerce domains and discuss how companies go about conducting e-commerce to profitably deliver more value to customers. And we shall overview the promise and challenges that e-commerce presents for the future. Which are the forces that are shaping the digital age? The digitalization and connectivi connectivity. The internets are the first step. They connect people within a company. The extranets connect the company with its suppliers, distributors and outside partners. Internet connects users around the world. The internet explosion. This is explosive worldwide growth which is forms the heart of the new economy. There is visible increasing numbers of users each month and companies must adopt internet technology or risk being left behind. The new types of intermediaries occurred. Direct sellings via the internet bypassed existing intermediaries and brick and mortar firms became click and mortar companies. As a result, some click only companies have failed. The customization and customization are usual. With customization, the company custom designs the market offering for the customer. With, with customization, the customer designs the market offering and the company makes it. Marketing strategy in the digital age requires, requires a new model for marketing strategy and practice. Some suggest that all buying and selecting will eventually be done electronically. Companies need to retain old skills and practices but add new competencies. E-business in the digital age involves the use of electronic platforms to conduct company business, websites for selling and customer relations, internets for within company communication, extranets connecting with major suppliers and distributors. More specific than the e-business is the e-commerce. It involves buying and selling process in supported by electronic means, primarily the internet and includes e-marketing and e-purchasing, e-procurement. The marketing side of e-commerce includes effort to communicate about, promote and sell products and services over the internet. E-purchasing is the buying side of e-commerce. It consists of companies purchasing goods, services and information from online suppliers which are the benefits to buyers. First benefit, of course, is convenience. Buying is easy and private. It provides greater product access and selection and access to comparative information. Buying is interactive and immediate. There are benefits to sellers like powerful tool for building customer relationships. You can reduce costs and increase speed and efficiency, offers greater flexibility in offers and programs, is a truly global medium. C2C customer to customer occurs, occurs on the web and includes a wide range of products and services. There are some forums, discussion groups located in commercial online services and news groups, the internet version of forums. Customer to business. Customers can search out sellers, view offers, initiate purchases and give feedback. Example on Priceline, home one can bid for airline tickets, hotel rooms, etc. and decide whether to accept company offers. 
click only companies, maybe e-tailers, search engines and portals, internet service providers, transaction sites, content sites and enabler sites. There are some different websites. The corporate website is designed to build customer goodwill and supplement other sales channels. It offers information to customers, builds closer customer relationships and generates excitement about the company. Marketing website. It engages customers in an interaction that moves them closer to a direct purchase and provides information about the products. The seven C's of effective website design are context, content, community, customization, communication, connection and commerce. More and more popular became online ads and promotion. Forms of online advertising and promotion are banners, skyscrapers, rectangles, contact sponsorships, microsites, viral marketing. What is the future of online advertising? There are new web communities to be created, which allow members to create online exchange views on issues of common interest. Email is not at its last stop. And legal and ethical issues about the new age of technology mean that we shall have in mind to keep online privacy, online security, internet fraud, segmentation and discrimination, and access by vulnerable or unauthorized groups. My dear friends, on my channel, Denzit and Professor Krustova, I am creating marketing content every day. If you like the idea, please subscribe. Have a very nice day. See you soon. Bye bye.